there, I'm Kat with Venice Stretch Physical Therapy and I'm going to show you a couple of uh, core stabilization exercises that you can do with the 12 inch stability ball. Uh, so let's get started. First we're going to lie down uh, with the pelvis in a neutral position. So we have a little bit of a curvature in the back, our pelvic bones and our pubic bones are in the same plane. We're going to activate our transverse abdominus by Imagining uh, that we're pulling, that there's a bungee cord across our pelvis, going from one hip bone to the other, and we are pulling it tight. So the transverse abdominus is active, and that's what's going to help us maintain this neutral alignment. We're going to keep the ball underneath our right heel. As we inhale, we're going to slide the ball away, and then exhale, pull it back up, without tilting or shifting our pelvis. Maintaining neutral. Head down. Exhale. Do about 10 of those. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Right leg nice and straight. Left leg on the ball. We are, again, finding our neutral position of our pelvic stability. Take your breath in as we slide the ball down. Exhale as we pull it up. No shifting, no tilting. Transverse abdominus is active and engaged. That's what allows us to maintain the pelvic stability. Come back up. Uh, from here, we can do a double leg heel slide. So starting here, take a breath in to prepare. Exhale as we let our legs open out to the side, sliding the ball down. And inhale, bring it back up. Inhale up, make sure that we're breathing. Make sure we're maintaining your short pelvis. I like to keep my fingers um, on that pelvic bone on, on the rib cage which allows me to know that I keep my core engaged and that I'm not shifting or tilting. Now we're going to reverse the direction. Both legs slide down. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale. Inhale, pull it up. You might notice that one side is more difficult to maintain than the other. And one more time. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, All right. From here, um, we are going to place the ball underneath our pelvis. All right, now I'm going to put the ball underneath my sacrum, my tailbone, so that I can be in a tabletop position. So instead of neutral, I want you to use abdominals and bring your pelvis into a slight imprint. Take your breath in, one leg comes up into tabletop. Exhale, the other floats up. So my pelvis is on the ball, it adds a an interesting level of um, instability, which forces me to work my core a little bit more. It also helps me maintain imprint um, from this position. So we're going to take a breath in, exhale, hinge your hip down and come back up. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Now if you can go all the way down, you can shorten the range if you feel that you lower your leg all the way down, it makes you arch, we don't want that. So we want to maintain the imprinted position as you lower your leg as far as you can maintain pelvic stability. And breathing, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And good, from here, we can um, do scissors. So both legs lift up towards the ceiling. Again, maintaining imprint, we can Scissor one leg down, exhale. Inhale, lower down, exhale. Lower and up. To add a dynamic component, we can go a little quicker. And pulse at the end. Also allows us to add hamstring, dynamic hamstring stretch. And now we can do a double leg hip hinge, the most challenging of, um, of the exercises. So both legs go down and exhale to come back up. Again, maintain imprint on the hinge as far as you can without changing your pelvic alignment. You can straighten the legs all the way down. Again, these are progressions. You don't have to do them all at 
once, you slowly build up as your strength improves, you'll be able to do them. Okay, um, all right. Another exercise that we can do with the ball is working on our glutes. So I like to put the ball between my knees for that um, inner thigh adductor connection. Heels are hip width apart. I'm going to start with a neutral pelvis. So I'm finding my neutral pelvic position where my hip bones are in the same line as my pubic bone. I'm engaging with transverse abdominals. Exhale, I'm gonna press through the heels and lift my hips up. So I'm hinging up. Now make sure you're not overly extending through your rib cage. So you want to use, kind of just lift your pelvis up as a unit. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. I want to make sure that I'm using my glutes to initiate the movement, to um, increase the challenge, progression, is we're gonna hold this connection, hold our hips up as we straighten one leg and bend it. Now the key is to maintain pelvic stability. As my leg straightens, the tendency is to want to drop. So I really have to use opposite glute to help support me in this leveled position. Straighten and make sure that you're breathing, not holding your breath. And we'll lower back down. Okay, to progress further, we can put the ball underneath our heel on one side. So my heel is just floating, right? I have some support. Now I'm going to do single leg bridges. So I'm lifting up, so my right heel is there for balance and a little bit of support. But most of the work is on the left side. And lower. And switch to the other side. This way, the ball helps me to still have some weight distributed onto the left side. So it's not a single leg bridge quite yet, but I'm building up towards it. Lift and lower. Once you can do 15 to 20 of these and they feel pretty good, you feel like you're strong and your pelvic position is well maintained. Now we're gonna shift this ball towards our left side. So I'm pressing my left arm into the ball, activating the back muscles. I'm activating my lats, I'm activating my tricep. So I'm activating my whole left back side. I'm gonna bring my left leg into tabletop. I'm gonna hold it there. And now I'm going to do a single leg bridge on the right side. So I'm gonna lift, exhale up. Inhale, lower. As I'm pressing into my right heel, I'm also pressing into my left arm. So I'm using my right glute and muscles on the left side of my body. So I'm working my entire posterior oblique sling, is what we call it, in physical therapy. Really important muscles that have to work together synergistically um, in order to do many functional tasks. So now we're gonna to switch to the other side. Right arm presses down into the ball. My right leg is in the tabletop. Maintain my neutral pelvis. I'm gonna take a breath in. Exhale, press up, inhale, lower down. Make sure that you're not shifting or tilting on that right side when you come up. So you're trying to be as leveled as you can and I'm pressing into the ball and pushing into my left heel. Lift lower, lift, and lower, and then lower back down. I hope you enjoyed these uh, exercises using a 12-inch mini stability ball. Thank you. <laughs>